Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to create a password protected zip file for free in Windows. Now I say free because uh, we're going to use a free method, but there's other methods that might work a little better or offer a little more security. For example, WinZip and WinRAR, uh, they're a little more advanced programs, but they're not free, but you could actually download a trial and check them out for a little bit of time if you want to do that first. So normally, when you create a zip file, you can just highlight the files you want to add to the zip file, and then you could go to send to compressed zip folder, then you can name it whatever. And then you have your file, but anybody could go in there and then open up your files within your zip file or extract them. So that's, you know, doesn't help you if you want to password protect it. And of course you could change the, uh, you know, security on it if you're keeping it on the local computer, that type of thing. But if you send it to somebody, then that's going to be, that's not going to apply. So let's delete that. So for 7-Zip, it's just a free download, easy to install. It's just a small little program. And then once you have it installed, same thing. You right-click your files. Then you should have a 7-Zip option. What you could do is if you just click on Add to and then Documents, you can make a zip file on the spot, kind of like we did before. But once again, anybody could go in there and look at your files. And it's also going to put a 7Z extension on it, which you should be able to open with other uh, unzipping programs, but it might confuse people if it's not a uh, .zip extension on it. So let's get rid of that. So now, to do the password, same thing. 7-zip, except now we're going to go add to archive. And now here you could change the name, so let's just change this to files. You could have it be a zip file, 7Z, tar, or WIM. So for zip file, you have one type of uh, encryption here, method, so AES-256, but if you make it a zip file, then you either have zip crypto or AES-256, and so you put in the password here, and if you got the name, got the type, compression level, you could do all these other options too. If you want to really fine tune your zip file here, click OK, refresh here. So now we have the zip file here, so we could open it up, and it'll open up with the Windows uh, Explorer, since it's a zip file, we could also open it with Seven Zip. Works the same way. So either way, so let's pretend you know we sent this to somebody who doesn't have Seven Zip, and now when they want to try and open the file, they could see the file names, but if they try and extract one or open one, it wants the password, and if you try and drag it out of there, the password, and if I put it in, now it let me extract it there and I could open it up. So once again, um, download 7-Zip, highlight your files, and you should have the 7-Zip option, add to archive, pick your file type, pick your name, uh, put in your password, and you should be good to go. I'll put the uh, link for 7-Zip in the description, then you could uh, download it for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.